All right, this is 19 from your practice, and the information you are given, um, you're looking at a particle that starts at x equals 2. Uh, particle starts at x equals 2 um, when time is 0. So like if you were in a car, you know, that's a equivalent to me saying, oh, hey, when you got in your car, you know, your, your trip odometer said 2. So that's where the particle starts at time 0. Um, you're asked to find where the particle is at the end of the trip. You're like, um, how do I do that? I know where it starts. And I'm given this graph. And this is a, what kind of graph is this? Well, time, velocity. This is a velocity graph. And you need to know, OK, the area underneath velocity is change in position. Uh, change in position. So area under velocity, area under velocity is change in position. So for the first part of this trip, you got a negative velocity. I'm looking right here. A negative velocity. Um, so from time 0 to time 1, this area right here, that's a change in position. So I think you're, you're integrating from left to right, because I said notice from time 0 to time 1, uh, that's going to be negative area. The area of that red region there, well, it's a triangle, it's 1 by 2. So 1 half base times height gives you an area there of negative 1. So in the first one second, um, your after one second passes, the particle will have moved uh, one meter to the left. Now, how do I know what the units are? Well, if you want to know what the area underneath a curve represents as far as units go, you just multiply the labels together. So think if you had meters per second times seconds, you'd end up with meters. So from time zero to time one, I go left one unit. Um, time one to two, I go right one unit, um, and then I'm also going, let's see, from 2 to 3, that's a rectangle, it's 1 by 2, so I go right two more units, um, three, 3 to 5, see this triangle is, the base is 2, the height is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, half of that is 2, okay, so this triangle has an area of 2. So it'd be right two units. So from time three to time five, it goes right two. Time five to time seven, the area of that triangle is going to be a negative one. Because um, it's two times a height of one. And then half that. So anyways, you started at two. So if you think about it on a number line, you got, you got zero, you got two. So first you went left one. Okay. So that takes you to 1. So I started here. I went left 1. Then I went right 1. Now I'm back at 2. Then I went right 2. So 2, 3, 4. And then I went right 2 more. 5, 6. 5, 6. And then I went left 1. So back left 1 puts me at 5. Okay. So I ended at position x equals 5. So the answer to A, find where the particle is at the end of the trip, A would be x equals 5. Uh, B says, how far did it go? Okay, well, I went, let's see, you know, I went 1 meter, then I went another one, so it was 2 meters, 4, 6, Seven. I went seven meters. Some of it was to the right. Some of it was to the left. You know, actually, you know, two of it was to the left. Five of it was to the right. So for a net result of three to the right and three more than two, it was five. But yeah, so this particle, part B, went a total of uh, seven. So seven meters. This total distance. So hopefully that helps get you started. We're working with area under curves, um, and lately it's been a lot with integral functions. Um, 
you know, we're working with integrals here. I don't know that I necessarily call this an integral function, but basically back on the concept of integrals and what do they calculate.